Welcome everyone to the Can Do Sports Show. We have a special episode today with yours truly, Scott Blair. We're going to do a, we're going to close the book on the Justin Fields era in Chicago. Um, here we are the day after um, the shocking trade, at least for this Bears fan, um, of trading Justin Fields to the Pittsburgh Steelers, although not too shocking because I did call it during our episode yesterday. I had been of the opinion that the Bears were going to keep Justin Fields, but if they were going to trade him, I thought that the that things were moving in a way in which it made sense for him to go to Pittsburgh. So let's start first with him. I'm glad Justin Fields is in a great position. I've always been a fan of his, especially when he was in Ohio State. Plays the game the right way. I think he he's competitor. He's tough. And he's fine. he's going to go to a team that's going to put him in a position to be successful. Uh, Tomlin, Coach Smith, the, the offensive coordinator slot, he's going to be behind Russell Wilson. He's going to be in a position to be successful. He's only 25. He's like a year older, I think, than Kayla Williams. So um, think about that. Um, so that's great for him because that's what he didn't get in Chicago. He didn't get the support. There have been many a moment during his three-year time with Chicago where talking heads were calling out the coaching staff and saying, you're running a system that is not conducive to his skill set. And that has been the problem with the Bears, at least for the last eight years with their quarterbacks is system over talent to the player. And that's why Trubisky's gone. Fields is gone. And now we'll see who's coming in next. Um, I'm appreciative again of how Justin Fields came in and played the game, considering he was not in a great situation with two years of essentially trust the process type of approach, Philadelphia 76ers. Um, last year, finally kind of had a chance with the DJ Moore, a little bit more talent at the offensive line. He still was running for his life a lot. And, Offensive coaching, that was abysmal in many times. Three same plays at the end of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers game. That's not Justin Fields. That was coaching. Um, but here we are. So draft compensation, that's interesting. Could the Bears have traded him sooner? Sure. But I think it's also a product of y'all didn't do a lot to support him in his three years. And this is kind of the response from the NFL landscape. Justin Fields has kind of got to prove it. Um, and I think he will in Pittsburgh. I think two years, two and a half years from now, he's going to be doing well for them or somewhere else. Um, but I think Pittsburgh is going to coach him up and put him in a good spot. Um, so my, the last thing I'm going to say to kind of close the book on this is just a review of the Bears and my hope that they're changing, but I'm not sure. And this is why. Going into this season, the Bears had the opportunity to pick another quarterback with a coach who is in a win or you're probably going to get fired campaign. We have been in this place before, twice before in the last eight years. John Fox, same exact situation, top draft pick. They took Trubisky. Yes, they should have taken Mahomes, okay, but they took a quarterback. And what happens? Doesn't work out that year. They fire Fox. Trubisky's going into his second year with a whole new system. A couple of years later, what happens? You got Matt Nagy, same situation. You got to win this season or you're gone. They have a high draft pick. They draft fields. Nagy stinks up the joint as a staff. Um, and he's gone. Justin Fields going into year two, whole new coaching staff. Eberflus is in the exact same situation. If they don't do well this year, he is probably gone just like Nagy and Fox before him. And then whoever gets drafted, guess what? Here we are again, going into year two with a whole new system. So I hope they made the right decision with Ibraflus uh, and trusting. I don't understand it. I think with all the coaches that were available, um, they, sh they should have just reset the whole thing, but they made their decision. I think that's the concern of Bears fans as we have seen this within the last eight years and it doesn't go well. So, Best wishes, Eberflus. Of course, Williams, if he's drafted, is coming into a great situation with uh, DJ Moore and Keenan Allen with a solid backfield with two solid tight ends and a much more stable line. But we'll see because they still got work to do on that defensive line. Hopefully they can fix that with some free agent signings and not a whole lot of draft picks. So we'll see. They'll probably trade down at the ninth pick. We'll see what happens. So closing the book for this Bears fan, always trust in Justin Fields, find something to do with this jersey. And uh, thank you, everyone, for listening. Catch us for episode 11 in a couple of days. Peace.